New to Logo 6, the Cultural Concepts tool lets you connect concepts common to the biblical world, then explore those concepts in other ancient texts. For example, in John chapter 12, Jesus attends a dinner with Lazarus, Martha, and Mary. In verse 3, we read, Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. The concept of anointing someone was a significant act in ancient Near Eastern culture, and we can investigate its importance by first opening up a passage guide, then entering the passage John 12, 1 through 8, then press enter. When the report generates, scroll down and open up the section called Cultural Concepts. By way of introduction, the Cultural Concepts tool lets you track down references to cultural concepts that were common to the biblical world. Logos marks these concepts in your Bible and other ancient texts. You'll see here that Logos identified anointing as a cultural concept in this passage, along with betrayal, burial practices, hospitality, and more. I can select anointing, then jump to a factbook entry on this cultural concept. Now we can scroll down and expand the cultural concept section and see a brief definition of the concept a hierarchy of related entities, then references to anointing in our Bible and other ancient source material. Logos describes anointing as a ritual pouring or smearing of oil on someone's head that was typically performed to install someone in a new office or role of authority. It's categorized as a ritual of religious practices. Looking at the references below, we can see that this cultural concept is mentioned in 28 verses throughout the Bible and the Apocrypha. As I browse these hits, it's worth noting that David is anointed as king by Samuel in 1 Samuel 16, 12 through 13. Then in Luke 4, 18, Jesus declares himself to be the anointed one of God, sent by God to preach the gospel. Then in John 12, 3, we read again about Mary physically anointing Jesus with fine oil. In most places, the Bible mentions anointing as the pouring of oil on someone's head, but there are other references to anointing that carry a different meaning. When we scroll down and consult references to anointing outside of the Bible, we find some interesting occurrences. For example, if I click on the context of Scripture, Volume 1, I can see that the ritual of anointing was used in the installation of the storm god's high priestess. Then in Volume 2, anointing shows up in the Egyptian Book of the Dead as part of an incantation ceremony, and again in an Assyrian cuneiform law tablet, which mentions anointing in the context of a holiday or celebration. Later in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the concept of anointing shows up in Psalm 151a, which describes David's anointing as king over Israel. We can see this text in the Dead Sea Scrolls in English, then view the actual fragment transcription in the Dead Sea Scrolls Study Edition. The concept appears in Hellenistic literature like the Church Fathers. In the Epistle of Ignatius, anointing is mentioned in reference to Jesus, who is anointed to build the church with incorruptible truth, and then it's mentioned several times in the writings of Josephus. In just a matter of a few minutes, we were able to track down significant biblical references to the cultural concept of anointing, then explore how this ritual was used in ancient text. To upgrade to a base package that includes the cultural concepts tool, click Get Logos Now.